of gods and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. for you. Want to liven your step. Oh, there you are, my little drinker. Go. So, you see our king? Yes, good. Find the, the ring. Yes. Now, now for our little plan. When you see us talking, be quiet as a wood mouse, and then surprise him with our gift. When you hold it out like this, you look him in the eyes, and you say, Stearbjorn King, may our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. You think you can do that for me? Mm -hmm. Tonight, you will be the court that unite our people. I'm so proud of you, Eivor. Get up, Olaf. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is called greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I can't. I have a tribute for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Valka Seder works through my hammer. The ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones and start yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light.
go. You have a gift to deliver. Abel, wait. Skull! To Sturbio! The true king of Burgafolga! Tonight, we are all made anew! Skull! Ah. Ah, Abel, Abel. King. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then smeed I forth will bring. For noble deeds that honor sing. The brave men slain, Valkyria wakes. Rewards for strain to well huddle takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. Not you, Eva. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Give my life. Will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Fairy. No, Aaron. Pick up your axe. No. Kill them all.
different data streams overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. <sighs> <sighs> How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of our crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolfkist is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> uh, to the ship! Uh. You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now what did I just tell you? <laughs> in danger. I need to reach them. Stronger. 
save that for later. holding my crew. men. I need to be careful. <laughs> they will attack on sight here. Survey the area soon.
Chatvis warriors. I should stay out of sight. Once this land is under Chatvis lash, we will live like yours. It will not happen while Ravenclaw lives. I should be cautious around here. Able Wolf kissed killed a score more single-handed. Ha! Able now tastes the slaver's whip. And with drink. <laughs> of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Chotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east. ...leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship.
What see you, old friend? Shirtless warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. Show me. Best not to draw attention here. should be inside. Jet, need to get on the other side. Should be an opening in the roof. <laughs> you squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! 
Lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I will send you to hell herself! Ah! Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life! Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. Uh. Well fought, Wolfkist. You have Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Oh, 
Don't fall fast. <laughs> Jack, Craigie, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop More yapping sail. and start rowing. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them.
came for. Let's go. And raise the sail here. Ready! What are you doing? Sail Jotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? There's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. returns and not half dead we thought we had lost you Eivor for good this time a warm welcome as always Ranvi you look like red and shit what happened nothing to crow about except to say the men who delayed us are dead and how are you well enough though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king he is not happy with you I expected as much and what of Sigurd as he returned from his raids. My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. 
A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know.
for? Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Tovi, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit, and now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. Where are you going? Come back! Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. See? All in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer. But I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. I need your eyes, my friend. Come! A little dice never caused any harm. Ah, Orlok. Orlok, a game of skill. Orlok. <laughs> How about a game? Let us play. Straight into the point. May the best hand win.
Thirsty. Sweet victory. The gods favored your hand today. Shall we go again? That is enough Orlok for now. <laughs> Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I'll come back. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... And I will spit in your face, and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Hello, Eivor! Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! All right, Tekla. I'll out drink. Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. 
think you can handle a few rounds? Knerri farðaðast eflin, en Sturla sagði að það var innaði búin. Knörnum er búin en leiðir sig. Vegum að hér, bæsir. Match horns with me? Hmm? Like Odin, mead is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Sven, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tove says she's trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Sven. Sure. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon. Eivor, come wolf kid. Welcome back. Garner. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well... ...for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, 
Bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Now are you, Gunner? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Oh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That is all for now. Return any time. Back for more. Yes. What can you do for me? Anything else? That is all for now. Return any time. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Welcome in.
Sunan. Hamuram. Hamuram. Volka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya. I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice on a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding.
Hmm? Mm, I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Sigurd, brother, when did you arrive? There's no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Take it! This was not for you, Javi. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm-hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path. What lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. 
You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done.
They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I'll speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Chatve and his clan will never negotiate with us. They speak the language of war, so we must answer back. I have waited a lifetime to take back the honor that Chatve took from my family. Now is the time to act. My time to act. Are you so blinded by vengeance that you cannot see beyond your nose? Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Hey, careful with that one. Eivor! Sigurd! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you, soul-cured vikinger. <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. <laughs> Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts, and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes! Basim, and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps, if you're standing safely beside him. He must like you. Ah, oh, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. 
They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtvis men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father... Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all. He has dogged us too long. Shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River. Raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. But Miklagard... We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Randy. Eivor! Have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on, or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband return? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm, we shall see. <laughs> Hytham, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. 
Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of techless meat. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. <laughs> You're Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago. To rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of her meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. Thor to shame. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland, and it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan. Not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Python is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... ...and training. Python, please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have.
I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours it has a name. Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. <coughs> Nicely done. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. A perfect strike. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. Exactly, just like that. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. That's it. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light.
The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Shot base warriors. Find the others. What do you see, Sunan? feeling just the three of us we should return to not fall with our report while we can we can bring Jut the news of the long ships or we can wait it came with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head which is better all right when Jut returns we weigh our next move but I am not one for sticking around hear me quit bawling you babe they may be drunk but they're not dead know about this. With each day we wait, Kurtve grows stronger. I speak as your king, Sigurd, not your... We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Chotve to kill us as we slept. I return the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Chotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Chotve learns his spies are dead. We may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? 
I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Off we go. Warriors! Bring it! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever Manas see home Brazil. again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nuchtfall from Kurtwes. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon, the Raven Clan will feast on his dead! <laughs> you know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Steerbjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
Ravenclan, you reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kjotve's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Kjotve lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Chatve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. 
Meet us there, and we will claim Kurtvis head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjodve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Hardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason... I have a good feeling this war is near its end. <laughs>